You know, ladies and gentlemen, as I mentioned in my review, I was going to talk about this briefly. Because this is something that's been going on for the past, I guess, two out of three months <coughs> now. And apparently it's not just me either. You see, a lot of people like myself are used to getting this, are used to getting our subscriptions to something like Sonic the Hitchhawk <coughs> or Mega Man or Sonic Universe or Sonic Boom or any kind of comic book that we may be subscribed to. We're used to getting it basically around the time we're used to seeing it. For me, it's basically the first full week of the month at most times. Most times, I should say. Sometimes it's into the second week, depending on, you know, the structure of the month. But most of the times it's between the first full week and the beginning or first half of the week after. <coughs> but, we're not used to getting our issues in the mail or having to email <coughs> the company and let them know we have not received our issue in the mail <coughs> for that month. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me there. But we have not received our issue for that month, and we don't know why. Now, this past Friday, I got this issue, 271, which is the last issue in my current subscription with Sonic, with Archie Comics, Sonic the Hitchhog. I got this um, in the mail on the last Friday of this month. That's right, last Friday of this month, because the 1st of May is this Friday. Go figure. So I kept wondering why it's taking so long and I'm and obviously excuse me looking at the message boards at Sonic Stadium and a few other places I wasn't the only one having problems getting their issue so I kept wondering to myself why is it taking so long <clears throat> is there something going on that we don't know of and one of my opinions just my opinion on here is I think they're so caught up in this whole Worlds Unite deal and getting ready to probably do a special subscription offer for that that they're overlooking the current subscriptions to the comics that are connected to it. They're overlooking the current subscribers of Sonic the Hitchhog, of Sonic Universe, Boom, Mega Man. <clears throat> they're overlooking it and, they're not, and that is not a good thing. When you overlook something, it's going to cause customers to not want to subscribe to you anymore or not give you the money because you're not doing it right. You're not doing it correctly. And you should, if you're a big company, <coughs> if you're a, the, third or <coughs> the third or fourth biggest comic book company in the world, you should have your crap together. Now, I've had this happen before, but not on a two out of three months basis. I mean, I basically had to email a couple months ago for two, what was it, two, two I think it was a 269 or something like that. <clears throat> I had to email them about that because of the fact that I didn't get in the mail. I got 270 in the mail, but I didn't get 269. As far as I know, I think that's how it was. In fact, hold on, let me check. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me check here. But like I said, it's basically two out of three months. This shouldn't be happening. And again, like I said, in my opinion, 
<clears throat> and like I said, in, in, in my opinion, Hold on for a second. It should be in here. Because <clears throat> I know I sent it. Excuse me. But, like I said, I know I sent it, and, um, <coughs> excuse me again. Basically, the thing is, they should have this stuff together. I mean, I understand when companies, like comic book companies, they want to, you know, they're looking forward to doing a big crossover event. <clears throat> I get that. But I, I've never, <clears throat> I've never subscribed to Marvel or DC, but at least I know Marvel, DC, and even IDW and Image at times when they do crossover events. They have the crap together. They have the issues for all the comics involved with such a crossover event. You know, with such a crossover event that... Um, You know, they at least have the crap together. They don't... <clears throat> you know, they don't, um, you know, delay an issue or anything. Maybe I'm wrong, but at least as far as I know... You know, they don't delay doing anything. <clears throat> Excuse me. They they don't they don't delay doing anything. Hold on for a sec to see here. Okay, no, that's not it. Well, I know I sent it, basically. Um, but like I said, <coughs> this is something that shouldn't be happening, period. 
And like I, and as I acknowledged, I know there's other people that have had problems with it. But in my opinion, it's either the fact that they're so caught up in doing the crossover <clears throat> and they're trying to get permission from both Capcom and Sega to use all these other characters that they're overlooking the current subscribers and they can't do that. <clears throat> they can't do that. You know, it's like at my job. You know, my job at times has, had, has made some mistakes, you know. It's like my job saying one thing and doing, you know, saying, you know, doing one thing and then doing another. Instead of doing what we say we're going to do, we do something else. And we've done that before and customers don't like it. <clears throat> I'll admit that. But the thing is, it's something that a lot of companies work on and there are times we've gotten better. We'll do what we're going to, we do what we say we're going to do and we do it. You know, but if you have people that <clears throat> have subscribed to you for a year, maybe even two, and they're waiting and waiting and waiting for their issue to come in the mail, and it's not coming at the time they expect it to, or it's usually scheduled to, it makes them wonder exactly what is going on. And to me, I think Archie Comics, if any comic book company out there, they need to get the crap together. They need to say, okay, we want to do, we, go, we are, we're focusing on this, but we also have to focus on this. Because like I said earlier, you know, you're going <coughs> to, companies like this, you know, if companies keep doing this, like if Archie keeps doing this, if Image does it, IDW does it, Marvel, DC, or any independent comic book publisher does this, they're going to end up losing business due to the fact that they're not releasing or sending out the issues as they're scheduled. Now, I don't know if maybe Archie Comics has decided, okay, well now we're going to do later releases or something. I don't know. I don't know if maybe they're focusing more, like I said, on the World Unite crossover and trying to get the permission to do all these other characters, to include all these characters and references. Or maybe they're focusing on going into that digital age of comics where you now read them on something like this. You know, I, I don't know. But I can't say this right now. I can't say this right now. If I'm Archie Comics, if I'm any comic book company, comic book company and I still depend on physical subscriptions as being <coughs> a major financial resource for my company, then I want to focus on that just as much as I want to focus on whatever crossover event I'm going to be working on. You know, I want to focus on that because that's going to help me financially, but I also want, but at the same time, I got to balance out focusing what on the event. So, again, if I'm a comic book company and I'm dealing with this kind of crap, I need to start focusing, getting my act together. I need to start focusing and organizing. You know, that, that's what I need to do. I need to start focusing and I need to start organizing my thoughts. I need to start planning better. And I need to say, okay, and I, and I need to come up with something that says, okay, this group here, you deal with the subscriptions, you get them out on time. This group here, you deal with whatever crossover event or similar event we got coming up. You're, that's your job. That's what needs to be done. Take one group, have them focus on one thing, take another group, have them focus on another, and you're fine. Because the thing is, not a lot of people, like myself, are going to keep wanting to go on the emails, emailing, uh, the, subs <coughs> emailing the subscribers, if you will, you know, emailing uh, you know, not a lot of us are going to like keep, uh, not a lot of us are going to like keep, you know, how do I put this? Not a lot of us are going to like, like, are going to keep liking, emailing the orders office, the subscription office, saying, hey, this didn't arrive, can you fix it? 
explain who we are, what our address is, how long we've been subscribing, or even calling them or faxing them and wondering what's going on. Because the last time I had this happen, not just in the past two months, I had it happen last year as well. I had it happen in June of last year. And that's when I did not receive Eve 260. And that was to renew my current subscription. It, my current subscription, it just ended. Yeah, my current subscription that just ended, I had not received the issue until I emailed them about it. Hopefully I won't have to do, this, do that this time with 272, but if I have to, I will. But the point is, this shouldn't be happening at all. This shouldn't be happening whatsoever with any company, any comp company, or any company that relies on subscriptions or whatever. <clears throat> you know, I can accept, you know, Amazon when I order from them. Okay, they say this is what is expected, but it might be delayed to the next day or so. I can understand that. But what I cannot understand is when people are used to getting things at a certain time, that all of a sudden you have not just one person but many people wondering okay what's going on why have I not received this what's happening it, it does, it's not good business tactics so to me if I'm Archie Comics or any comic book company out there I get my act together and like I said one of my opinions what one of the opinion in my opinion what I would do if I'm Archie Comics or any comic book company and I have subscriptions to take care of but also want to focus on a big crossover summer event I'm doing. I take one group, have them focused on the subscriptions. I take another group, have them focused on the event, and be done with it. <clears throat> that's what I would do. But that's just my opinions on it. And again, I, I can't really say what's going on. I don't know if maybe the, the mail company out there, the, ma the, the U.S., the, you know, the postal office out there was on strike. I don't know if anything was weather-related. I don't know if they had a hack, a virus, maybe something happened with the systems and they went down and they had to fix them, they had to bring them back up, they had to restore all, all the information. I don't know. But I do know that whatever it was, they better have a good excuse as to why people, so people's subscriptions were late in getting to them. They better have a good excuse. Because, like I said, it's not good business practice to delay something that people expect to see the week that they usually get it. Especially when it comes to a subscription either to a comic book or a magazine. <clears throat> so, that's all I'm going to say, folks. You let me know what you think down below. Comment if you like. Do you think companies like Archie Comics or any comic book or magazine subscription company should get their act together to, delay, to prevent things like this happening again. Let me know what you think down below. Comment if you like. Talk to you all later.